ever wonder what happens to your recycling after it gets hauled away? Does it really all get sorted and processed for other uses? The good news is that it does. I recently had the opportunity to visit Waste Management's Cascade Recycling Center, where all of that sorting and processing happens to the tune of 550 tons per day. Cascade Recycling Center receives mixed recyclables from over 250,000 homes in the Puget Sound area, including Bothell. The recyclables arrive by truck and are piled into mounds at least two stories high. A crane drops the materials onto the starting point for a labyrinth of conveyor belts that rise and stretch through the 52,000 square foot facility. Paddle wheels, magnetic belts, and even a high-tech optical reader pick up, brush off, or drop materials according to type. At certain points, the materials are sorted by hand as conveyor belts rush past workers in neon green hard hats and vests. Waste management's strong commitment to safety and efficiency keeps the process humming day after day. In the final process, recyclables are strapped together by type into bundles the size of Mini Coopers. Those bundles are then shipped away to both domestic and international markets. Newspaper makes up the largest percentage of the materials at 47% followed by glass at 19% and cardboard at 13%. Glass is the one product that stays in Washington State. Waste management only sends 5% of what it collects to landfills. The most important thing is that people recycle, period. However, if you'd like to make the recycling process go more smoothly, here are some things you can do. Reuse plastic bags or take them to the grocery store or to collection containers at City Hall or the city's Dawson building. Please don't put them in the recycling bin. Make sure containers are empty. You don't have to scrub them perfectly clean, but a half full can of tomato sauce can really wreak havoc on paper and cardboard, ruining them for other uses. Do something else with shredded paper. Use it as packing materials or animal bedding, layer it in your yard waste cart, or compost it. But please don't put it in the recycling. It's nearly impossible to sort and is often so mixed with other materials like little credit card bits that it doesn't have very much value. Alternately, you can bring your sensitive records to Bothell's twice yearly document destruction event. For more information about recycling, please visit bothellcool.org or wmnorthwest.com. <music>